video I've been wanting to do for a while. It's uh, what I call my dollarinas. And these are all trolls that I've customized myself. I bought them at the dollar store. They had no outfits, nothing. They were $4 and I hadn't seen a troll for sale anywhere. And I just became intrigued and then I started buying them. And bought them and customized them in my own way. I can't customize quite as elaborately as some. Um, what I've done is take, the hair in these is very soft and silky. It's nice, but it's quite thin. So what I've done is, I'm going to show this, let not be everything over. The hair is really quite, it's quite silky, it's quite nice. The outfits are similar on these three. Oh, hey! See, most of them have hair bling. The hair is the double wig, I think. There were rainbow ones, but I doubled up on the hair. There's a little pearl. A lot of them are pearls. That's a little sweater. Yeah, these skirts are kind of... I think they should go below the belly button, or I think. It's a good look for trolls. And the other two are... Pretty similar, different hair color though. Kind of um, an example of the kind of customizing I do. And then we're just going to go down the row because there's a lot of them. These guys, some of them I replace the eyes just to make them bigger. Now she's got a very nice Angora dress with the gold bow and lots of pearls. Most of my trolls with sparser hair have hair bling of some kind, just to make it look better. That's nice. I remember, hardly remember making that. Now some of my guys just have sort of knitted or felt. I found a way to knit little skirts. It was a rose petal pattern. I, I have to wing it on these things because I don't have any kind of pattern. Now this one, okay, these guys. These are a little different. I did give them hair jewelry. I don't know what they're supposed to be. It's like Bigfoot. The fur is right on them. Um, so I didn't dress them, but I think they're really cute. I may have got these on Amazon, but they're the same troll, basically. You can get them on Amazon. Five for $28 or something like that. Now this little greenie down here, she's really cute. I'm going to bring her forward a bit. Bring her right up. Let's see what I'm doing with her. She came out really good. Now with this beautiful green hair, the beautiful green outfit, it's knitted. It's got little straps on it. Pull that out. Straps, uh, and she's got some bling here. The hair is just kind of loose because that's two green wigs, and you can see how nice. These are cheap trolls, but look at how nice they are. They're loosely based on a treasure troll, so they have that kind of cute face. Yay. That's what drew me to them. And they have a little belly button thing in there. I won't show it. That is not all of my trolls. <laughs> There's a lot more. Let me try to get them all in. It's hard to do. I'm going to try to zoom in. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to take this off the stand. And try to get in quite a bit closer. Now here's one of my very long-haired, very long-haired damn trolls. No, not damn trolls. They're, these are the dollar store trolls. And she has sort of like a burlap. Her hair is just incredible. I learned to do yarn replacement hair, and this is so thick. It's like four inches thick. Well, basically, you just have to pull strands apart. I don't even want to take her down, but... Well, this one, too. I replaced the eyes, so they're a bit strange. And this is pulled apart fibers of yarn. I've done, I've done videos on this before, but it came out good. The outfit is sort of a furry. Some of these I don't mess around with too much. 
This one, it came out really good. It's got a little knitted tutu that I knitted for it. It's got some really nice hair bling, if you can see it. Yeah, nice. She's up on top of a box now. I replaced her hair with this, which I really like. It's almost like a string. It was a craft material. So I used that now. I'm gonna go buy this girl here. Only one I ever did was saran hair, and the saran hair came out really, really nice. I don't know if you can see it or not. What I like is all the different colors in it. Uh, oh, nice, but that's, that's another one. It's the same. There's the belly button jewel. The eyes are different colors. These are a great blank. Sorry to call you blank, Trolley. But if you want to do some hair replacement or other types of things, these are great to practice on. Now, for me, this is the final product, the Santa practice. Another one over here. Oh my God, I'm nowhere near done yet. This is one of my best hair replacement trolls. It's got a, another tutu on. This hair is just, you can't ever get the color accurately. It's just a cascade of thick, thick, thick hair. It took quite a while to de-strand all that. I just sat there and pulled it apart. I did it over several nights. Look at that, pretty good. Eh? She has to stand up. Be propped up. Nobody in there right now. She has to be propped. Up. Oh my goodness, the hair on this girl. Yeah, that took a bit of work. Now, in case you think I'm done, I'm not. Another couple of hair replacement. And I knitted that. And there's hair bling, which I like, I like a lot. Hey. You know, there's all this blingy stuff down here, which I like too. This one has unusual hair. Again, it's almost like a string. I really like it. It was a yarn that was very string-like and very rainbowy. So I didn't have to do a lot, but the thicker the better with this stuff. Like it's really, really thick. It's inches thick. Now these guys, that's one of my early ones. That was a drawstring bag. Uh, she's got replacement eyes. The hair's the same. And yeah, really nice jewelry. And a hair thing too. Then there's this one. You can see how different they are. They're like really different. I made these at about the same time. And then this piece of ribbon. More blingy bling. Hair blingy bling. Now, <laughs> we're not quite there yet. Here's my Hawaiian couple. And one, this is one of the first ones I did. Um, you can see he's got a little, yeah, hair thing. But this one, wow. That skirt, it really should be straightened out a little bit. That's a Hawaiian skirt made of string. You can see there's a tie in the back. And this is supposed to cover her, you know, naughty bits. But she doesn't really have naughty bits, so. You can see what I've done here. So I think those are it, unless there's some more hiding out here. Those are my, the ones I have done. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't do this one. Hey. And this is another one with long, 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 long. Very thick hair, different fibers. I really enjoyed making them. I'll tell you, it's hard to get them to stand up. Imagine the weight of that hair. I don't want to pull on it. Uh, she's standing in a glass, which is the only way to keep that hair you know, okay. But yeah, you know, I have some over there, but they're not uh, dull arenas. So that's, that's how I uh, remake my dolls. It's been quite a good hobby for me, and I'm going to continue to do it, although I can't find any dollar store trolls now. But you can order from Amazon something similar if you ever want to try it. I love these guys. I really put a lot of work into them. And I love their hair. It's not that hard to do, really. You just have to have a troll that you can pop the original hair out of. Now look who we've got here. 
Who is it always crashes my videos, eh? He's trying to get in. <gasps> Look at how smart. Don't pinch your paw. Go in. I don't want to interrupt him. Oh, he can get in. I've seen him get in. There he goes. Oh, he squeezes through. He's quite a hefty cat. He's 15 pounds a cat, so... Yeah, he can open just about any door in the house. He can open... Easily open these. He just puts his paws on there and pulls down. So anyway, that's where I'm at with my trolleys today, and I'm, I'm just happy to have them, especially the ones I fixed myself. Now, this type, obviously, I don't feel too qualified to do, or this type even. But I'm happy with the ones I have done. Oh, here's another one I did, but it's a damn troll. Yeah, so that's it for now.